playing a real person is uh, it's really tricky and it's a huge challenge and it's because I really admire her but whenever it feels scary I mean she wrote the perfect song to get through it you just have to listen to I am strong I am invincible I am woman and there is something quite profound about that the film had to reflect Helen's life and Helen had a really big life you know, to a younger generation. I always talk about how she was bigger than Beyonce in her time. I mean, she was one of the most successful female singers of that era. I am woman, hear me roar In numbers too big to ignore And I know too much to go back and pretend She had three number one hits in a row, which was nobody had ever done apart from the Beatles. Her story is so incredible and I thought why doesn't the world know this story and why don't we know stories about women like this? Why don't we know that she was the first Australian to win uh, you know, a Grammy for best vocal pop performance? How come we don't know women who have done this? And I thought that was enough to inspire me to want to make a movie. Thank you. Her determination really stood out for me, like what that meant in 1960 to go to New York as a single mother to try and forge a singing career against all the odds. That was um, determination at a level that I, I couldn't even imagine. Well, one of the most important elements of being able to create this look in the film that we have is that I got to work with my long-term partner, Dion Beebe. I think the intimacy was really important to me, and Dion and I spoke about that a lot. And in, in fact, as we progressed along the shoot, we actually changed some of the shooting style at times if we felt the intimacy was not quite there. I just really felt strongly that you really had to be with Helen in this story and especially even in the, the moments where she's on stage that you want to feel that you're part of her world. You know, there were many challenges on this movie, but certainly trying to sort of uh, recreate the sort of LA and New York across, uh, you know, the time periods, you know, across 60s, 70s and 80s has been, you know, a particular challenge. We looked high and low for our Helen. We went around the world and just weren't finding the essence. Then I met Tilda. I think I pretty much knew as soon as I sat down with her that we had found our Helen. She came in six weeks before we shot. She rehearsed. She fully, so wholeheartedly dove into every aspect of it. In terms of the performances, I was lucky that quite a lot of them are on YouTube and I watched those videos endlessly. I worked with a great choreographer called Kate Champion and we sort of made our own versions of our favourite parts of those clips or things that we felt were really Helen and a lot of that started from just me doing simple things like learning how to walk as Helen. As much as she was a singer, I think she also had a very a bigger agenda. She was a woman that wanted to change the world and I think she did. I think the only thing that I could hope for is that it could move people as much as it's moved me playing her. Like, I have learnt so much about who I am and the woman that I want to become from playing this extraordinary woman and I think the telling of her story is so important. I really do want people to be able to embrace her story and she was so loved in her time and I think that I would love them to fall in love with her all over again. <laughs>